The Nightingale and the Rose stands as a children's tale crafted by the Irish author Oscar Wilde, featured in his 1888 compilation of fairy tales, The Happy Prince, and other tales. Within this collection, the narrative explores the themes of love and self-sacrifice, adhering to the simple story structure commonly found in traditional fairy tales while simultaneously challenging certain genre conventions. The story unfolds with a student, known simply as the student, bemoaning the fact that his unnamed beloved will only dance with him if he presents her with a red rose, a quest proving elusive. Despite his vast knowledge, his life is rendered wretched by this unattainable desire. Overhearing the student's woes, a nightingale, referred to as the nightingale, contemplates the student's predicament, recognizing him as a true lover even though she does not personally know him. The student continues to express his anguish, revealing his aspirations to dance with his love interest at a ball hosted by the prince the following night. He fears rejection and heartbreak if he fails to secure a red rose for her. As the student laments, the lizard, butterfly, and daisy dismiss him as ridiculous. Undeterred, the nightingale reflects on the mystery of love and approaches a rose tree, seeking a red rose. However, the tree declines, stating it only bears white roses. The nightingale encounters similar rejections from another tree with yellow roses. Turning to the red rose tree, the nightingale learns that winter has claimed all its buds. Witnessing the nightingale's desperation, the tree reveals a terrible solution to obtain a rose, the nightingale must sing all night and then pierce her heart with a thorn, as the tree requires heart's blood and music to create a rose. Despite the grave nature of the request, the nightingale insists on undertaking this sacrifice. The nightingale contemplates the multitude of life's joys she would forfeit but resolves to sacrifice herself for the student's sake. Returning to him, she pledges to procure the coveted red rose if he vows eternal fidelity as a true lover. Unfortunately, the student, steeped only in book knowledge, fails to comprehend the nightingale's intentions. Recognizing the nightingale's imminent sacrifice, the oak tree implores her for one final song. As she departs, the student, oblivious to her sacrifice, notes in his notebook that the nightingale possesses exquisite style and art, but lacks depth or emotional resonance. Rejoining the rose tree, the nightingale sings of childhood love, pressing her breast against a thorn. A pale rose begins to form, and she transitions to a song of love between a man and a maid. Piercing her heart with the thorn, she sings of enduring love, and the rose transforms into a vibrant crimson. In her final moments, the nightingale's last notes prompt the rose to unfurl its petals. Elated, the student opens his window, reveling in his wonderful luck at obtaining a red rose. Presenting the rose to his love interest, the professor's daughter, he reminds her of her promise to dance with him. However, she dismisses the rose, deeming it mismatched with her dress, and boasts of receiving valuable jewels from the chamberlain's nephew. Accusing her of ingratitude, the student flings the rose into the gutter, where it is crushed by a passing cart. Undeterred, the student, disillusioned with love, declares it a silly thing and extols the practicality of logic. He laments its lack of utility, deeming it impractical in the modern age. Returning to his book, he forsakes the emotional turmoil of love for the perceived certainty of logic. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.